I went into my work in progress pile to pick up a project that started just after we moved into this house. This has been sitting in my box for nearly two years, which is a bit of a crime. This Cotton Lawn by Cloud9, I wish you could feel it. It is so soft and smooth, very delicious fabric. It's a little bit of a crime that it's been sitting in here for two years. I needed a dress for a gift for a baby girl, and I thought this was the best time to go in and finish the Oakland dress by Violet Field Threads. I am Christine, and when I was working on this dress, let me show you, I realized that it wasn't just the contractors coming into the house that kept me from finishing this, it was the sleeves. I love a flutter sleeve. I think it's so precious and sweet, particularly on children's garments. It is not so fun to sew, particularly because the shoulder, the area that I'm putting this through when I'm doing the burrito method. Now I've done the burrito method many times. I know how to do it, but on a tiny, tiny shoulder like this, it's very difficult not to catch the sleeves somehow in the seam. Now, one of these sleeves went in perfection. I got a little bit cocky. The second one, and I'll insert a photo somewhere here, I got little bits of this flutter sleeve caught in the seam allowance, and I was just a little bit undone about it. And I find that I can be a little dramatic in my mind anyway. When I make mistakes like that, I did feel for whether I was having anything caught in the seam. I thought I had it all done well. I clipped. And then when I turned it out and saw that I had a little bit of this flutter sleeve caught in, I made it into a bigger deal than it was. It was probably less than 15 minutes because I did not have to unpick the whole sleeve. I was able to unpick a portion, work it in. I did do some hand sewing because I didn't want to have to unpick it a second time. I did some careful hand sewing and 15 minutes later, I was done with this. I did film while I was at it, a tutorial for how to gather using your serger. It's my favorite method for gathering little girl dresses. Now this one does need a bit of a press. So easy. I'm gonna link it up here. I'm gonna also link it in the description box below. I've been making a real effort to do more tutorials and so alongs on the channel. If you found this helpful, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel. That lets me know to do more of it. So all I have left to do on this, other than giving it a really good press, is to add the buttonholes and the buttons. I do like to involve Charlie in my makes, particularly if I'm making something for a family member, and he's very interested in helping me out with this. He is not interested in learning to sew, but he does give me a lot of help, particularly in picking out the buttons. So I gave him an option of about, I don't know, eight different buttons, and he very quickly narrowed down the buttons, and I think he was right. I was leaning towards these yellow buttons, predominantly because the color, I thought, wow, what a great color match. I also had picked out some blue ones where the color really did coordinate well. And Charlie quickly eliminated these buttons because he said these are just too large for the dress. And you know what? I had to agree with him. So he picked out these buttons. I have three packets of them. He liked the size, he liked the color. Let's see if I can get it next to the green. And he liked how simple they were. So this is what I'm gonna use. The nice thing when they're still on the packet is it tells me it's 11 millimeters. So I'll test out a 12 millimeter buttonhole first for him, and this will be a quick add-on. Now these are shank buttons. Normally I just like to sew the buttons in, with the buttons that have holes in them. 
you know how I like things simple and easy, but these are pretty and I think they'll look nice. So I'll do the buttonholes, mark my placements, and one day while we're watching a Netflix or a nature program, I'm going to add these buttons to the dress. A little hand sewing won't kill me, will it? Do you have someone who helps you out with your sewing? I love that Charlie's involved. And I do give them credit. I will tell the grandchildren if Pop picked out the fabric, the buttons, the snaps, the labels. He has gotten extra credit in the past. This fall, my three-year-old grandson came downstairs and he was wearing a pair of pants that he was very happy with. He told me, see me now, I am wearing the pants Pop made me and I love them. How could I respond? I just simply said, that was really nice of Pop to make them for you. This is all I've sewn in the past week because I was on a sister trip to Florida. For those of you who follow regularly, you'll know my sister Julie has cancer. And it is a shame that it took that diagnosis for all six of us to take a trip together. We had so much fun. We went to Little Havana in Miami and did a food tour took loads of silly photos, selfies, and just had the best time. We also did an airboat ride in the Everglades, saw loads of alligators, some birds. It was a fun, fun day. Now we were sending my parents photos all throughout the trip and I got a text from daddy and he said, I love all the pictures, but what I love most of all is seeing all of you together really enjoying yourselves. And as a parent, I don't think I could ask any more for my children than for them to be grown adults and really truly enjoying each other. Since we are halfway into February, I'm gonna be doing a February and March makes plans. That will be coming out on Sunday. I have so many things that I'm excited to sew and I'm gonna be sewing more because I'm gonna be more intentional throughout my days so that I can A, sew more, which I love to sew, B, I really have some holes in my wardrobe, some staples that I need to sew, and that'd be a good thing. Not to mention, I need to be sewing down my stash. I plan on talking more about how I'm gonna accomplish this. If you're interested in hearing my master plan, let me know. I hope to see you on Sunday for my plans video. I'll see you later.